Hey everybody, Brandon with Orlando Vacation Homes and we are out here today in Magic Village. We've got a good one for you. Come take a look. So this is actually one of our favorites. One of the more modern aesthetics that you're gonna see. Uh, pretty much the only thing that, you know, we think comes close aesthetically in terms of that modern look is Story Lake, some of the stuff they have over there. But for the most part, as you can see, the aesthetic in this one really is head and shoulders above mostly anything that's around. Air DNA numbers on this are actually looking pretty good. Uh, we had a three bedroom that we saw that did 80,000 for the year. Another one did 90,000. And the one that we're looking at today is actually set up as a four bedroom. So, you know, you might be able to expect a little bit more based off of that. We can send you the full air DNA numbers, no problem. But um, as it sits right now, this one's listed at 530,000. And I think we're gonna see those rental numbers go up just a little bit because initially when they started the complex, they didn't have the pool, the tennis courts, the beach volleyball. So there's a lot of different things that we're gonna be able to add to your vacation renters that are gonna be more attractive for them to wanna to stay here. And one other thing that we like to take a look at when we're looking at these places for the vacation renters is the proximity to the parks. And this one, is just about the best you can get. We're five minutes from Animal Kingdom and then 15 minutes to Magic Kingdom. So you can be pretty much on anywhere Disney property in about 10 minutes. So the uh, living room here, you can see it's got a nice open feel, pretty sweet chandelier. And like I said, compared to a lot of the other, a lot of the other vacation rentals in the area, some of them are a little bit older. And this one has more of a little bit of a modern aesthetic, which is gonna look great on VRBO and Airbnb. Out back here, got another really good feature. We've got a summer kitchen with the sink. And then this actually backs up. We're gonna get some, some better footage of this, but um, we've got the brand new tennis court here. They have a giant chessboard, beach volleyball, got the pool and a really awesome clubhouse. So again, when you're taking pictures of this, this is gonna be something that's gonna pop out on Airbnb and VRBO. So you're gonna be able to get your occupancy up in turn, you're gonna get your reviews up, and then it's just going to, at the end of the day, bring your ROI up. So we're gonna come this way, downstairs. So this basically has a dual master setup. It's got one right above this, but downstairs here, it's got the, the bed with the view right out to the pool. And then in the bathroom here, you got a really sweet stand-up shower with the rain head, which is nice. And dual sinks, which is pretty good. And a Veda, if you like to be nice to the environment and to your hair, as you can see I am. So just come this way. We're gonna go check out upstairs. And like we said, we, talk, we mainly look at three things when we're looking at vacation rentals. We're looking at the proximity of the parks, the amenity, and then obviously the price. So we talked about this one, you're in the 530,000 range. Uh, there's a couple for sale right now in here. And you know, with the way things are going, the market's moving pretty quickly. And I think once people are seeing what these are actually gonna be able to generate in terms of revenue with the clubhouse open, I think we're gonna see these move pretty quickly as well. So we'd be happy to help you out with this one or any others in the area. You could check out the rest of our channel uh, we have these walkthroughs coming through and you can check out how this looks in comparison to some of the other ones. So this is the other basically master setup. You've got a little sitting area here and then you've got the view down into the living room, which is pretty sweet. And again, the bathroom right in there. And I believe that one's got the tub in it. It does not, but you can basically make this a tub if you like a, just a little bit of water down there. You got about three <laughs> inches. <laughs> so like I said, it's got the dual master set up basically right on top of each other, downstairs, upstairs. And then you've got your other two bedrooms over here, which 
are still a good size. You know, one thing that you might want to do when people are looking at these places, they're trying to fit in as many people as possible, and that will really make you stand out from some of the other ones. So this one, they have the double twin beds. What we've seen it a lot of the times is to be able to do like a double bunk bed room. So you're basically adding two more people in. If people are coming down with their kids and if it's two families, you know, you're gonna be able to fit everybody in here. And this one right over here, it has its own bathroom as well. Again, you've got the, the two beds. I would say the other room might be a little bit better for a double bunk bed situation but like i said the more people you can fit in the better and yeah the aesthetic is super great so this is definitely one of our favorites here um, if you have any questions about this or any other vacation rentals in the area we're happy to help you out our numbers are down below here leave us a comment let let us know what you think about this and subscribe for anything new that's coming in and we are happy to help you see you guys